Well, Cal Fire has not released any numbers on how many homes have been damaged or destroyed, but our own crews have seen several burn to the ground. And that includes your reporter, Kayla Muller, who talked with a woman who watched her home burn in real time. Kayla. Yeah, hi there. I'm standing off of Cohasset Road right now, but this fire is really hot and really intense. We were up there right next to the flames earlier. We had to come down the hill just a little bit to get service. But what I want to point out is uh, that that plume of smoke. Um, in fact, the plume of smoke on the left and the one coming to meet it on the right, they, they were completely separate smoke plumes. But just even since I talked to you guys uh, about an hour ago, it's grown significantly. It's growing by the minute. I can see it kind of moving in slow motion. But again, they used to be two separate plumes of smoke, but now they are coming together. And we did. We spoke with a former CBS News anchor who watched her house burn through security camera footage in real time. She described it like a train wreck, where you know you don't want to look, yet you just can't look away. Oh my gosh. This is the moment Julia Yarbo saw what's left of her home. Yeah, there, it, there really, there's no rhyme or reason. Um, our house gone, their house okay, house next to it, you can see it's gone. Flames ripped through her neighborhood off Cohasset Road overnight, and she watched her house burn down live through her home security camera. It, it really is almost a numbness, right? Um, it's surreal. Probably won't hit me till later, I'm pretty sure. For, you know, 30 years in the military, and I've been overseas, and I've seen some devastation. And I thought this was a war zone. This man lives just a few houses down from Julia, but his home made it. Doesn't impact me. Thinking about, um, you know, people. I'm so happy my neighbor's house survived and that everybody's okay. After leaving their neighborhood, we went further in. This is what we saw at the end of Cohasset Loop Road. Cal Fire and other agencies are using every resource available to get this fire under control. Flames were creeping up in someone's backyard when we had to leave the area. Wind playing a role. It was incredibly windy last night. It's been hot. It's dry vegetation. The sky filled with smoke, the atmosphere turning a purple hue as the red-orange smoke covers the blue sky. We've seen planes, engines, and choppers fighting relentlessly to put out flames and continue to provide structure protection. It, it puts a finality to it of just going, wow, this chapter over. I've covered a few fires at this point, and this one is definitely the most intense that I've seen. I went to bed last night and it was at around 6,000 acres burned. And then I woke up to an early morning call from the station telling me that I had to hurry up, get ready and head over here because it exploded to 45,000 acres overnight. And uh, the last update is we're at more than 70,000 acres burned. So we will continue to keep you updated on these conditions. Yeah, and I'm glad you also focused on the sky because so much can be told in that story the way the clouds and the, the smoke merges together. together. Kayla, thanks. Stay safe out there. Appreciate your hard work. Butte County.